for a St. Patty's Day tutorial and show you how to draw this like Celtic knot and paint it using my core watercolors that I love so much. Um, I did a video about these core watercolors making a palette, which I can link in the description below in the card if you want to check out that. But this is going to be a more casual video. I think editing is kind of a stressful thing and I don't want to edit out a whole bunch. So this is going to be a very casual, chatty, catch-up voiceover while you guys watch me paint um, this giant Celtic knot, basically. So I thought I could use this video coming back just kind of like explaining what happened, where I was, and some new things that are coming up that I'm excited for. So the end of 2022 was pretty rough for both of us. We had a lot of stuff going on with um, family and the holidays. And then in the beginning of 2023, we had to unexpectedly put down one of our dogs, which was very hard. I feel for anyone that has to go through that. It was something we never experienced before. And yeah, it was just really hard and very sudden. And then we both got sick. Thomas ended up with COVID and while he wasn't in the hospital, it was still kind of serious with fever and chills. Um, he was down and out for several days, sleeping almost all the time. And then shortly after he started to recover, I got sick. Um, it wasn't COVID. I did get tested for COVID. Um, I did home tests and I went to an urgent care center and they determined it was some kind of viral chest infection. They put me on some steroids and some an inhaler and it just like it took all the energy out of me. I immediately shut down my Kofi that I had just started. I stopped posting to YouTube. I worked from home a lot, which I was thankfully lucky to be able to do. So that way um, I wasn't going into the office and spreading it around. And if I had to go, I honestly probably didn't have the energy to get dressed, drive there, and just be social. So it was really great that I was able to work from home during a lot of that time. Um, I also developed some anxiety, which I guess was a side effect of the steroids. I also had some stomach issues for a little bit. I don't know if that was related to the medicine, the anxiety, or just our overall stress levels that were pretty high. It was also very depressing time of year because it's winter time, but we weren't getting like snow, enough snow to do things. Like normally we would go snowmobiling or we have some ski resorts nearby that we could go to. And they actually closed the ski resorts early because they were not getting enough snow. And then, so we weren't getting enough snow, but the weather wasn't nice enough to do anything either. So it was very brown with no leaves on the trees, very gray sky, no sun. And it was just overall pretty depressing. Um, I had someone ask me how I was doing and I literally just started crying. So I believe I had a touch of seasonal depression on top of all of that. So that uh, that's where I've been, not in the best place, but that is all behind me now. And... Um, I recently have this burst of energy and motivation to suddenly do art markets or craft fairs. And this is funny because I literally have nothing to really sell. Um, like I filled out the application and paid for some spots and now I'm scrambling trying to come up with some stuff to sell. I think what really got me into this was um, it was in March around my sister's birthday. She signed up for her very first convention. 
because she does more anime art, like fan art and stuff. And she's like, I'm going to do it. Um, I got all these products. You know, will you help me set up my booth? And I said, sure. So she came over and we had set up a mock table in our living room and I helped her like organize the table and see where she wanted to put things. And it was just really fun. And I was like, oh, I kind of want to do this with my art. Um, so I think that's what got me thinking about it. And then, of course, I just went down a YouTube rabbit hole. I feel like I've watched every art market video I could find on YouTube and just started getting all these ideas and really excited for it. So that's what I've been up to. Um, I even talked to a local print shop. I met with uh, the lady there a couple times to get like some quotes and price estimates and then even do some test prints, which after I do this painting here on the screen, I did a second version of it and that is what I used to get some test prints. So, oh, I also had my birthday in April where I bought a ton of art supplies. Um, I did some, what do they call it, retail therapy because of how crappy I was feeling. And normally I don't talk about this stuff on my channel. I don't get very personal. I try to keep my videos pretty positive and upbeat. I don't want to be depressive, but this is just the real um, realness and what's been going on. So, but now we're moving on and we're going to be doing some art market, which is super exciting. I want to like vlog everything and do like preparing for art market vlogs and working on creating my products. And I have those test prints to show you guys. So this would be my very first time ever doing art markets. I've never sold my art in public or did anything really so this is going to be a huge deal for me if you've ever done any art markets or anything you know if you have any advice or tips definitely leave them in the comments below because i'm going to need it leading up to these craft fairs but this is the celtic knot this is the first version that i finished i originally used the fine tech gold to do the accents but realized this was going to take me forever so I ended up pulling out my Posca pen and doing the rest of the gold with that which was much easier and because I loved it so much I came out with this other piece and this different color scheme which I love 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 so much um, I was actually worried that the orange was gonna be too much for a cooler palette but I think it's the right amount of contrast and kind of balances it out. So I love this piece. This is the piece I sent to the print shop after I scanned it in and edited it, edited it, edit, edited it. it. <laughs> um, I sent them the file and this is what they used for test prints and they came out so vibrant. Um, I can't wait to show you. Um, I finally got my audio working, so this is probably like the second or third time I've recorded this. But thanks so much for watching. Um, I can't believe we're almost at 4,000 subscribers. That's crazy. I feel like such a big, small channel. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. And thanks for sticking around, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!